Hello, my name is Adam Osborne, and I love the crap out of this program, Cool Edit Pro. I realize that it's about 10 years old now, is it? And, uh, well, it's 2002. All right, it's eight years old at the time of film. And uh, there's many more programs. Everybody loves Pro Tools. I've never used Pro Tools, and I don't really care to. I mean, I guess I would use it if it was put in front of me, but I like Cool Edit. I'm comfortable with Cool Edit. I love Cool Edit. I know Cool Edit. I, don't, I wouldn't even say I know Cool Edit. Cool Edit has become an extension of me. If I didn't let go of this mouse from time to time, Cool Edit would meld with my flesh and we would become one. It is an extension of my brain. But I wanted to uh, demonstrate uh, or, or show off one of Cool Edit's uh, more um, powerful features that a lot of people who use Cool Edit don't even know about. Um, it's called scripts and batch processing. What this is, is let's say that you don't like the way your mic sounds. So you're constantly applying the same effects. You're going to filters, graphic equalizer, and then you're going to dynamics processing and you're applying a filter or, or you're compressing it. And then uh, you're maybe applying a channel mixer because your inputs aren't balanced and you want it to be nice and even on both sides. Well, you don't have to keep clicking. You don't have to do, you know, 15 clicks to achieve that thing. You can get it done in one click. And that's what I'm about to show you. So what we're going to do is I've got a piece of audio right here. Hi, I'm Adam. And one-on-one -on -one interactions with other people makes me extremely uncomfortable. How true. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how we get this to where I want. So what you're going to do first, you're going to go up to options, script and, scripts, and batch processing. I, I talk on the radio for a living. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to need a new collection if you haven't done this before. So you just hit this open new collection. And mine is titled Adams. So you just type you know, whatever you want, and you would hit save. I'm just going to hit cancel because I already have one. That would say save if you were typing in a new title. At that point, you decide, all right, I'm ready to add a script to my collection of scripts. So I'm going to name this one, I don't even know, uh, Funky Delay. So let's say that I'm constantly, or I'll do Bullhorn Delay. Let's say I'm constantly having to use an effect where I sound like I'm talking through a bullhorn into a hallway. So what I'm going to do is once I've got my title, I hit record, right? Go up to effects. The first effect I'm going to apply is a little FFT filter. Uh, I'm going to preview that. Hi, I'm Adam. That sounds good. That sounds like it's about to go through a uh, little crappy mic. And I'm going to uh, maybe distort that a little bit. We'll go to distortion. And we'll uh, do a little bit of that action. Hi, I'm Adam. That sounds all right. We'll uh, do a little bit of hard limiting. I love my hard limiter. If you are not using hard limiting, get on that, man. It's great. Then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm maybe going to generate maybe a second of silence at the end, leave a little bit of room for an echo. And we're going to go to delay effects, echo. I've already got my echo set up here the way I want it to sound. You hit OK on that. Hi, I'm Adam, and one-on-one -on -one interactions with other people makes me extremely uncomfortable. So there you go. There's that. So now that I have that sounding exactly the way I want, you go up to scripts and batch processing, you hit stop current script, and you hit add to collection. And now, bullhorn delay is added right there. Now, every time you want to run this script, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go up to Options, Scripts and Batch Processing, there's your list, and you're going to have to click on it and Run Script. The exception to this, and this is where it comes in super handy, is I just undid everything that we had, so... Hi, I'm Adam. So it's right back to where it is before. You can go up to Favorites, and if you edit your favorites, let's make a new one. We'll call this Bullhorn Delay, right? You click on the script tab, find your script collection file, mine's right here. You select your script from that collection, bullhorn delay. You hit save, and now, even if you wanted to, you could set up a shortcut key. I'm not going to do that this time. But there it is. It's in your favorites. So now, if you don't hit the help key and you hit close instead, idiot, go to favorites, bullhorn delay, watch this. Boom! It's done! Hi, I'm Adam, and one-on-one -on -one interactions with other people makes me extremely uncomfortable. And now, every time you want to use that effect, you don't have to do 16 clicks to get that effect. It's one click. Two if you count clicking the favorites. And it will be one keystroke if you set up a, uh, a little uh, keystroke shortcut in there. For instance, if you hit edit favorites and uh, where did it go? Bullhorn delay, just hit edit. And if I want it to be control shift B, there it is or Shift-Alt-B is what I hit. Uh, so there you go. You just hit save, and now that's saved as your uh, thing. So that's scripts. I love scripts. As you can see uh, in my script folder, I've got a lot of them in here, um, and uh, some of them are really cool. Let me just demonstrate one of them for you. This one is called uh, To Catch a Senator. 
which uh, is named because it kind of sounds, I was looking for something that sounded as though you were hearing it on a hidden cassette recorder that somebody maybe had in their pocket hoping to catch a senator. Uh, you know, I don't know, but that's what I named it. So here, here's to catch a senator, and it's a lot of effects. Watch this go through. It's so freaking awesome. Except with this one, you have to have nothing selected, so we're going to do that again. Watch this. La -da 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 -da. So there it is. It's done. But when you listen to it... Hi, I'm Adam, and one-on-one -on -one interactions with other people makes me extremely uncomfortable. So that's what I was going for, something that sounded almost unintelligible, but you could hear it, and it sounded cool. Will I ever have an application for that? Who knows? But it's there if I need it. So I've gone script crazy, you should go script crazy too. If you ever find that there's an effect that you really like, what's also cool is that if you can remember the sequence that you did, man, if you just undo all your actions, then what you can do is um, you can hit uh, scripts and batch processing and then you just go one-on-one -on -one going back through because it'll save your most recent settings uh, in each effect. So that scripts, I use it all the time. It's super handy and I hope this helped you out. My name is Adam Osborne and I love the crap out of Cool Edit Pro.